The path blur is used to create motion blurs along paths. This allows a Photoshop user to make an image appear to be captured with motion when it really is stationary. When using the path blur, the pins are set as paths, multiple pins connected to a continuous segment. Paths can be used to create blur or prevent blurring if set to zero. And you can see here, these would be set to zero, preventing the blur, and these down here are adding blur um, by numbers higher, or the slider set higher than zero. If we look at these examples, compared to the original image, you can see the image at the top, um, the, where it's set to zero here on the gondola, it looks like um, an image made by the technique of panning. So when you're panning an image, typically the image ends up being in focus and the background ends up being out of focus. And that's with the longer shutter speed, of course. And then here in this image below, where the gondola is blurry, it looks like the gondola is speeding by really fast uh, when the camera set on a tripod with a longer shutter speed. So I can give a simple demonstration of this in Photoshop to see to show you how this works. And like using all these other filters, um, you want to go to the filter and go to the blur gallery. And then the path filter is right there. So here you are um, with, the, with the default blur. And here you can just change that. So here if I move it and click on these points and click and drag, I can change that angle of that, uh, that blur where the motion is blurring. And here I can increase the speed, I can add a taper, and I can also choose to center the blur or off-center it. So depending on what look you want, I would recommend just playing around um, with all these different settings. With this endpoint selected, I can slide this down to zero and with that endpoint set to zero, I can decrease the blur where this point ends. So here I can simulate that panning action and depending on how fast I want it to appear moving, I can increase or decrease the speed here. And that's just a simple basic path blur. You can also go in here, this drop down, and you can put in a rear sync flash, which would give you a, another really unique effect. Um, similar to what happens in the camera when you're using a long shutter speed with a flash. Um, or you can end up customizing your blur and um, end up just creating something really cool and unusual and new.